Hey guys, how's it going? I'm I Jordan B1409, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a single player to multiplayer glitch after patch 1.12. So, as always, just a friendly reminder to leave a like on this video. Let's get over 1000 likes on this video, and also be sure to subscribe for GTA 5 videos every day on my channel. But let's get straight on with this video. So, for the single player to multiplayer glitch, what you're going to need to do is set your spawn location to last location. As you can see here, it is on 1.12, so this is after the patch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set our spawn location to last location and stand where we want to be bringing the single player vehicle into multiplayer. So I want to bring my single player vehicle in behind the 400k apartment so I'm going to stand my GTA Online character behind the 400k apartment and now I'm going to press, well I'm going to hold down on the D-pad and I'm going to select one of the single player characters so that I switch um, to my single player mode. Now once it puts you into single player you're going to have a little cutscene as always. Now once this cutscene has finished, what you're going to want to do is hold down on the D-pad and this time select your GTA Online character and this is going to put you back onto GTA Online. We have done this so that the last location um, has been saved so now when we spawn back in we're going to be right at the 400 k apartment or wherever you um, decided to put your location at. Now for the, me, for this glitch to work, what I had to do was get a vehicle from the street, a random vehicle, and I wanted to place it where the single player vehicle was going to be. So now once I've selected that, um, I want to go to Xbox Game Store and it says, are you sure you want to access the Xbox Game Store? So I'm going to press yes, and I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi at the same time. So you can press A and pull out your Ethernet cable or pull out your wireless adapter from your Xbox or anything like that. Or you can also, what you can do as well is a sign out method, wait till you get like to the second or third cloud and sign out and what will happen is for people that signed out they'll go into the prologue and for people who disconnected from the Wi-Fi it will put you into single player with a cutscene. So for the people that disconnected from the Wi-Fi like me, you're going to want to pause the game, you want to press game, load game and you want to load up the game that has the modded vehicle on. For the people that signed out, you'll be in the prologue, so when the prologue finally loads up, you then just want to do the same thing, pause the game, load game, and select the modded um, save game. Now once you've done this, it's all going to load up, and when you get back in um, into your modded save game, it's going to tell you that one of the DLC content has been missing. Don't worry, it actually hasn't, it's just part of the glitch. So once you've seen this method, it means that the glitch has worked. So now we're going to go to our modded vehicle, the vehicle that we want to bring in to multiplayer. So I've got my buffalo here that I want to bring online because it has a really nice paint job on it. So I thought I'd bring this online. This is a modded paint job and I'll have a link in the description so you can go and check this out. So now I'm bringing this to where my GTA Online character was and I'm going to, once I've set it down in the right place, I'm going to pause the game, I'm going to go to game, I'm got, sorry, I'm going to go to online, and I'm going to connect back to Xbox Live or PSN and then we want to press play GTA Online and press go. Now you have to press go, if you press um, invite only session the car will not show up so you need to press go for this to work. It will then tell you that one of the DLC content has gone missing. So you want to go to the business update, press confirm purchase and after a second it's going to disappear because you already have the DLC but um, the game thought that you didn't because of the glitch that we have done. So now once you've um, it disappears and it tells you that it's been downloaded, you then just want to press B and it's going to start joining you into a, join, um, into a GTA 5 online session. Now when this has happened, you should see your vehicle outside if you've done it correctly. So now I've got my Buffalo and my GTA 5 online. All I have to do now is place it in my garage. Now if it's a vehicle that cannot be placed in your garage because it's a supercar or anything like that, I will have a link in the description to a how to store any vehicle after 1.12. So you'll do, all you'd have to do now is get your friend online with you and you can do a glitch which will enable you to store the supercar online or whatever vehicle it may be if it's something like Trez Blazer. But that's it for this video guys, this is a longer tutorial today, as I wanted to make sure that you understood this, it is, um, it's a hard thing to explain, but I hope I un um, you got understood this well, um, if you enjoyed the video at any point, and it's helped you out, just be sure to leave a like in the video, I am aiming for over 1000 likes in this video, and also be sure to subscribe for GTA 5 content on my channel daily, and also be sure to follow me on Twitter at IJB1409, I'll post tweets on absolutely everything on there, so it's always good to get some exclusives on Twitter, so if you would like that, just follow me on Twitter. Twitter, and that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Young figures, I want dumb figures. My couple youngins wanna come and get some fun with us. My team is supreme. I'ma leave run with us. Told me I ain't selling dreams. Come and have some fun with us. Just a youngin trying to come up in the game, right?